What's going on, everyone? It is a Thursday, and we are in February, and I have a mail day, and all of this is mail. I have four blaster boxes that we are going to break open today while revealing my mail day. Two of the boxes are from Dick Sporting Goods on a pre-order that finally came in, oh, maybe a week or so ago. The other two are Prism or uh, blaster boxes from Walmart that were ordered online and shipped. And then I got a few orders back. Some of the other ones I've already put away that came back from SGC. This one did not come back from SGC. It was a quick pickup for uh, my dad, um, who all of a sudden got back into sports cards and wants a Victor Wembeyama. So I picked up. We're we're still waiting on. Um, I did pick up a uh, Prism online uh, paid. I want to say I paid sixty dollars for this on eBay shipped. Uh, for this Prism Wimbayama, but um, I did pick up a Hoops uh, 10. This was $40 on eBay uh, shipped. So uh, I believe it was shipped. I don't think there was shipping involved in that. I think it was free shipping. So $40, I picked this up for him uh, so I can get that. I have a bag. I'll put this in later, but I just wanted to reveal that. Um, and then the prices and, again, the, the Prism that I got. Um, it's a little off. It's a little thinner on the left side left to right but um for that but uh picked that up for 60 or 70 bucks on ebay and then <clears throat> i got these back 2023 tops chrome update i opened up that hobby box um i only sent three cards in from that and uh one of them was the uh 1988 version gunner henderson uh so the chrome update it came back a 10 Let's see if you can see that and then the other one that was cool was this Matt McLean. Um, it's out of 199. Let's see if I can zoom in there so you can see that. Um, and so I, I picked this up. This came out of the pack. Uh, it was the Aqua Wave autographed um, out of 199 and it came back a 10. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was a really nice card uh, to send that in. And then the other one is a. Uh, Really cool future stars Julio Rodriguez uh, that I sent in, and it came back a 10 also, but it just looked sharp. When I saw the card um, with the colors, I'm like, that'll look good with a black tuxedo border from SGC. And I gotta get, I gotta get, uh, looks like the Julio still in a bag along with the Wembyama. So <clears throat> we will uh, put this back in here for right now. So let's get into the meat of it. Um, Price wise, I think I paid for the Walmart ones are like forty four a piece, and then the Dix ones I want to say were like thirty three or thirty six a piece on the pre order. So I was pretty, pretty stoked about that. Um, so let's just uh, get these, get these out of the packages real quick here. Normally I have this pre cut before I do a live. Uh, so my sales on eBay, I know I said I'm going to give a tour. I've been doing some readjusting. It's still kind of uh, messy in, in my office here. It's not a big space, uh, but I've created some different shelving, which has helped. Um, but my orders have increased, and what I did do different was um, I am not promoting any of my cards. Um, what I've actually been starting to do is um, and a bunch of my listings, older listings, uh, to, uh, re redo them, uh, go through them, um, make sure that I got the proper listing specifications and everything else going on there and then, um, selling it as a similar. So I'm not doing a relist. I'm just canceling and doing sell a similar and then cancel the old listing. And then I've been doing, uh, generate the AI. Um, instead of doing my own description, because usually I would just copy and paste the title from my own description. And, uh, you know, it's just very basic and vague. And of course, the AI generated through eBay is a lot more detailed than I would put. And so with doing that, I've noticed that my sales have gone up. Um, I haven't put any new listings on in a while because I've been procrastinating uh, opening up these boxes. And today was the day to do it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, I clear my throat a lot. Um, I do have allergies. I take allergy medicine, um, but sometimes it just does not help. So I apologize. 
If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you can be notified the next time we put a video up. Uh, we do appreciate everyone's support. Do appreciate feedback. I actually got feedback from someone yesterday in regards to a video that I did comparing uh, GMA's new label and their old la uh, label. This was back in 2021. And of course, the response was, um, you know, it was basically a person with a trash can or something like that. They're still trash and whatever. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I haven't done GMA in a long time and I'm not going to bash GMA. I'm not bashing really any grading company because it's two each is their own that's the nice thing about the sports card hobby so hey let's get into it let's see if these packs opening up give me a hard time or if i can open them up pretty decent so here we go and i gotta get adjusted to the camera because i did the dual screen here uh so we got fox and see i can't see unless i put it out here siakam hendrix rookie how's our rookie so we're ultimately out of these four blasters, hoping that we can at least land one, one, Victor Wembyama, I'm hoping, uh, his prism. Um, if we get more than that, that's a bonus. And we got a cracked ice here of uh, Kevin Love. And I would look for Silver Giannis and then Steph Curry. Not a bad pack if you were a kid back in my day when you used to buy the packs individually at the counter at the drugstores, not by the box. And so if you got that one pack, you would have been pretty stoked as a kid collecting. We got Kyrie, Greedy Dick, uh, Deep Space Giannis, and then Philip Petrusev. I think that's how it's pronounced, rookie card. All right. Keep going. Patrick Ewing. Cam Whitmore just sold a jersey card of his from the NBA Hoops. Crack Dice, Devontae Graham. Boy, when he came out and was a rookie, there was a lot of high hopes. I even collected him big time, and I had to back off. And I feel like I got shortchanged on that, but I got talking. All right. Move those over. So we're four packs in. We are looking for three blaster exclusives. You got the ice prisms. Um, I didn't go through the box too much. I can pause just for a second. You got 24 cards per box. We're looking for the ice prisms. I'll zoom that in up there. And so let's get back at it. I mean, I don't take the time to read the box. Uh, Kenny Lofton. Nowitzki, got a green, uh, Keontae Johnson, and A.J. Griffin. On to the next. This will be the last pack of one blaster box. Oh, I know I'm revealing the card. It's on the back. Apologize. All right. Uh, cracked ice. We got Andre Jackson Jr., Anthony Edwards, Dominance, Rookie Amoni ba Amoni Bates, Cracked Ice. It's actually a pretty cool card. I know there's some people that are pretty high on him. I guess he was highly recruited coming into to college. Uh, where did he go? I can't even read it. I can't even read it. Isn't that terrible? Eastern Wisconsin? Sorry, I'm going to go off camera for a second. Eastern Michigan. Had to use my magnifying glass on my light. That's terrible, huh? All right, so that's one down. Uh, I would say the Amani Bates Cracked Ice is probably the best one so far. And there's out some other cool cards of your veterans and stuff, but not what we're looking for yet. And that's one blaster box. That actually would be a disappointing blaster box if I just had the one. Jalen Slauson. Got instant impact with Sasser. Probably tell me to get off the camera so close. Carmelo Anthony and Gary Payton. All right. There's Ja Morant. Jimmy Butler. Nicholas Batum. The red. Oh, numbered out of 299. But look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a crease that goes right over in here, right across and across that number, serial number. That's out of the pack, crease in the back. Isn't that terrible? 
I seen some of the videos there where they're like there's stuff on them or the first few cards a lot of them are dinged up but yeah that's a the only thing that's positive on that is it's not a rookie card but yeah that Batum card has got a crease it goes right from here all the way over that's horrible out of the pack all right that's one blaster nope we're already on the second blaster All right, we got John Collins, Giddy Cracked, Schroeder, and Jared Allen. And all right, Keldon Johnson, Lajuan, Tatum, and Jalen Williams. No rookies. Two more of this blaster, the second blaster. <clears throat> Jalen Hood Shafino, rookie, Grady Dick, Cracked Ice Victor, and Talon Horton Tucker. All right. Gotta find something in here, I would think. Westbrook, the Clippers finally took a loss after a big win streak. All right, Asar Thompson, that's doable. That's a green. We'll take that. And Colin Castleton of the Lakers. We'll take the Thompson, Thompson Twins. All right, so that's two blaster boxes down. We are on to the third one. I didn't. I should have separated them out to see which one was from Walmart, which one was from Dick's. Not that it probably matters, but uh, Ben Simmons, LeBron, Amari Bailey, and Shake Milton. Not sure if I want to do the dual screen again because... I wander. Not that anybody wants to see my face anyways. That's why I'm glad my face is smaller on the screen. But... All right. Leonard Miller. Singoon. Fultz Silver. And Gabe Vincent, who's not done anything for the Lakers. because He's not been in uniform. So trade deadlines today. Um, not hearing anything. Big moves. Jalen Pickett cracked ice. Insta Impact, Marcus Sasser, and Walker Kessler. Um, Lakers, it's like the D-Lo heard that there's trade rumors and all of a sudden he stepped his game up. Um, honestly, not sure what's out there that's going to actually help because then you got to deal with uh, Brandon Miller, Deep Space. Then you got to deal with the unity of the team and their ability to play together and familiar with each other. And so you just disrupt that all over again. Uh, unless we can get somebody like uh, a Trey Young um, in place of D'Lo, I, I would take that. But I'm just not sure there's anything out there that's going to really benefit us right now. Uh, Brandon from the Warriors, Insta Impact, Crack Ice, Vesnikov, Kings, Shade and Sharp. All right, last pack of this third blaster. I got my piles that are falling over. See what we got here. Of course, these will all end up probably online for eBay. Obi Toppin definitely was a good move for him to go to the Pacers and get off the Knicks. Isaiah Wong and Josh Hart. All right, that's the end of the blaster there. Last blaster. I'm not really impressed, to be honest with you. Oh, Grady Dick. Scoo Henderson. All right, Scoo Henderson Green. We'll take that. We will take that. We'll take the Scoot Henderson Green. We'll take the Grady Dix. We'll take the Asar Thompson. We will definitely do that. I mean, we're getting warmer. It means there's a Victor Wembeyama in one of these packs right here. And I said at least one. There's another Asar Thompson. So it's our second one. Tamar DeRozan, Cracked Ice, Steve Nash, and Nurkic. So I've gotten really heavy into hockey this year. Um, it's going to take me a long time because I haven't watched hockey in years, like over 20 years. So the names, um, I'm getting slaughtered when I do the box breaks online. I still have one more Series 1 for this year's Upper Deck to do. And I have some uh, pre-orders for the uh, Series 2 Hobby Box and then uh, the Series 2 Tin. And then there's a uh, release coming out of Connor Bedard. 
um, box from Upper Deck that I did a pre-order on too as well. So Connor Bedard is really the one that's gotten me uh, back into the hockey, just reading the articles on him. And then I see there's a guy that's predicted the number one uh, pick for the 2024 NHL draft, plays for Boston University, um, Celebrini. Um, so they're projecting him to go to the, the Blackhawks. So that's the other thing is I've had to try to pick a team um, that I like. Oh, we got another numbered out of 99, a blue. David Roddy, that would have been nice if it was a rookie card. Um, but out of 99 anyways, it's a sharp looking card. And at least it doesn't have a crease in it. Um, so that's what got me in there. So then I was trying to pick. And I didn't want to pick a local team. So I'm in central New York, not the city. And uh, all the teams around here are blacked out on ESPN+. Plus. So you can't watch the Rangers, you can't watch the Sabres, you can't watch the Islanders, and you can't watch the New Jersey Devils. They block it all out, which is stupid. Um, I'm nowhere near. Buffalo's four hours away. Um, New York City's still a couple hours, three hours away. <clears throat> so I don't see the benefit of blocking that out. But anyways, to each is their own. Unless it's on you know, ESPN or TNT, I'm not going to be able to watch those games. So I went with the... Colorado Avalanche. It was going to go with the Blackhawks, but the team's so terrible other than Bedard and then him being out with the jaw injury um, kind of de 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 deterred me from that. So I went with the Avalanche. Um, maybe when Bedard comes back, I'll just watch the Blackhawks more, but I've been watching them all, like Maple Leafs, um, the Winnipeg Jets. So I've been watching all the teams. Just my primary team right now is going to be the Avalanche. So, in case anybody wanted to know that, it's still learning. Uh, there's, there we go. We got Tumani Kamara and Kawhi Leonard and Jose Valero. So, we got the blue out of 99, David Roddy. <clears throat> Not a rookie. But at least doesn't have a crease in it. And this is our very last pack. Out of four blasters, we have not seen one Victor Wembeyama. Not one. Not in any variation, nothing, not one. I've had one Scoot Henderson. We've had a bunch of Grady Dick. So I have two boxes, again, that came from Walmart and two that came from Dick Sporting Goods, and none of these so far have produced a victor. So here we are hoping for some magic. That cracked ice that I see in there would be great if that was a victor Wembeyama, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So Jeremy Sohan, Trace Walker, Emergent, Giannis, and we have a cracked dice. What do we got? Lakers. All right, and Jared Vanderbilt, cracked dice. Not one Victor Wimbeyama. I guess that's the way it goes. I was excited. I guess that's why I bought one of his prisms online. Excuse me, I hit the thing again. Um, online, because I was afraid that out of those four boxes... So honestly, the gamble, if you just, let's just take an average and said these boxes are worth $40 a piece, it's $160 spent on blaster boxes that I could have bought two base prism Wembeyamas off of eBay for that same price. And then I could have sent those on and got them graded. And I would have been ahead of the game. Instead, I'm behind the game $160 because I got zero. Not necessarily behind all the way $160 because all of these cards are going to get listed. Um, so I will get some of that money back, but most of those are going to get listed for $0.99. Cents. But that's what we have. Um, eventually, our goal is to get all of our raw cards sold down and then just kind of stick to graded cards. So the graded cards I have... Um, or just ones that I either purchased or sent out to get graded. I have cards listed on my eBay store, which I will list down below in this video. Um, that probably could get graded, and I just choose not to. Um, I'm picky on things. Um, I'm not really a PC fan, so I don't really have a personal collection. If I, if I was to say I did, it's probably Julio Rodriguez, J-Rod for the Mariners, uh, I did collect Kobe for a while, and then I've since then started selling that off. I'm mainly a buyer and a seller. Um, that's why we had changed our name from KB Sports Cards to Ultimate Flips, because oh, we have more than just sports cards on our eBay store, but um, we do. We buy, we flip. We buy, we grade, we flip. Um, we buy cheap, we turn around and sell it for a profit if the value goes up not making huge money. This is a part-time, part-time business for me. I have a full-time job. I work nights. 
Um, so I do this on the side. Uh, would I love to do this full time? Absolutely. Um, but I need to reduce my inventory that I have of raw cards and then get into serious, uh, maybe higher value to make some more money because selling a card for 99 cents is not going to cut it when you're making maybe 50 cents off of each sale after that, maybe even less when you start adding your supplies, um, unless you can get a discount or get somebody to buy them for you or something. So that's all I have for this time. Thank you for sharing the four blaster boxes with me as I opened them up. Uh, I'm disappointed that there's no Victor Wembayama, but there is some treasure in there and some value. So until the next time, we will see you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a good day.